Okay, let's try one more of these examples, and if you can get this one right, then you're good to go, and you can do your homework and your first quiz for this week. After I read through the problem, please pause the video, take a minute to try the problem, and then push play to see the answer. So, example number two, a printing company generates $1,400,000 per year in revenue from printing jobs. 10% of all printing sales go to the salesman, and the rest is used to cover daily operating costs, which are cost center costs. Will this company be profitable if their monthly operating costs are $82,000? The correct answer to this problem is yes, they'll be profitable and the company will make $276,000 more than they have to shell out for all their expenses. If we were to break it down into this four step process, step one, the credits total $1,400,000. Step two, the salesman debits are $140,000 because that's 10% of $1,400,000. And the yearly operating costs are $82,000 times 12 which equals $984,000. When you do your homework quiz and your actual quiz, the question may ask you, what's the total profit or loss? In this example, the total profit would be positive $276,000. If it asks you what the total debits are, it would be $140,000 plus $984,000. Whatever that adds up to, the answer would be negative that number because it's a debit, and we need to recognize that a debit would subtract money from an account. If it asks you what the total number of credits are, for these examples, it's just the amount of money that a company makes in a year, so the answer would be positive $1,400,000. Please don't get profit confused with credits. They both have positive numbers, right? So step one, I have a positive $1,400,000. That's a credit because I'm taking in that money from clients and it's getting deposited into my bank account. The bottom, my positive 276, is just what's left over. So if I, if somebody writes me a check for $1,000 and I deposit it, that's a credit. And then if I spend $500 of it and I keep writing checks and using my debit card, those are debits that come out of it. At the end, I still have $500 left in my account, but that's not a credit because it's already there. It's not being placed in the account. If you're comfortable with this, you can move on to your first uh, homework and your first quiz. Uh, there's one more video to watch, and that will directly relate to your quiz number two. If you have any questions about these types of problems, please contact me either during in-person or online office hours.